We're always looking for ways to improve what we offer to our guests at Hipperson's Boatyard. And we decided maybe the pedal boat needed a little bit of love and a care. It's been the same colour for a while, had Dad's boats on it, we now own it. So we're revamping it. So today, Simon and I are going to put the new name on the pedal boat, and this name has been chosen by Stephen this time, but when he said it, we all went, yeah, that's right, apart from Simon, who wanted to call it Eel. I was like, no, we're not naming a boat Eel. What do you have to say about Eel, Simon? Uh, I thought because it's a long, skinny boat, that was actually a great name, but everybody else poo-pooed it, so. So this is tricky, isn't it, Simon? Yeah, you've got to carefully peel away the backing bit, which leaves the letters intact without disturbing the tape, which is lining everything up. Yeah. We're just tying on a little fender. Right. Attention to detail. That's what we like to give our guests. There's too many picture straighteners that work here. You came up with a good idea, Simon, didn't you? <laughs> yes. We made some new flags, didn't we? Yep. And let's see. It's got the Boatyard logo on it, so people will be able to see when they're out in the pedal boat that it's from Hipperson's Boatyard. Does it fit? Let's try it. Da, da, da. Hey, a lovely cool. new flag on the pedal boat. Fantastic. Good work, Simon. Like that. There's five and a half inches on the other side. I'm using metric and imperial measurements, but it's just whatever works. So, yeah. Very good. So the numbers are ready to go on. Yep. Fantastic. This is the new bearing, which Steve is going to fit. So then, in theory, there won't be a leak. Is that right, Steve? There'll be no leak. We just have to adjust the um, pedals and the um, and the this this bit here. The UV sort of joint, um, so that's in line with the bearing. Um, we'll adjust it on with washers on the bracket there. 
Now we just need to put a, a smearing of um, sealant on, on there and I'm just looking for a piece of wood just to put on the front there so I can give it a gentle tap in. Steve, you got it all lined up now? All lined up, that one's gone in flush and this one, this one here is just about going a few more turns and that'll tighten up and that'll go into the little dimples on the shaft so it won't turn and we've got it pretty much lined up um, so I'm well and truly happy with that. It's as snug as a bug in a rock. Fantastic. And have you liked helping on the pedal boat project with Steve today, Nate? Yes, and see it's going to be my job to Steve's apprentice. And there's the pedal boat, ready for her launch. I'm feeling a glass of Prosecco coming on. <laughs> Don't know why you're laughing, Simon. I was thinking the pink Prosecco to match the colour of the moorhen would be a nice drink this evening. Way better than it used to be. Can't hire it now at hexlinks.co.uk.